did it! Oh, I did it! This is wild! Yeah. All right, so it is the day of the eclipse. Uh, my wife and kids are grabbing some food. We're gonna have a little picnic. Brandon is joining us over there. Uh, let me show you all the gear that we brought to prepare for, the, for this event. All right, so this is gonna be my main camera. This is the Sony Alpha 7C Mark II. The lens I attach I have is the Sony 70-200G Master Mark II. I got a 2X teleconverter lens to increase the focal length. Uh, gotta have a solar filter, and I got the Nisi 16.6 stop uh, solar filter. That's gonna be pretty cool. I got my reaction camera over here. That's the Insta360 Go 3 camera. I've attached it to a, a small rig magic arm. It has a nice shot of me capturing the clips uh, when that event happens. And uh, of course, the vlog camera that I'm filming with right now is a DJI Pocket 3. I'm using a Manfrotto uh, travel tripod. I wanted to make sure the tripod was sturdy, so I attached a five pound uh, sandbag here just to make sure it's uh, steady. It is quite windy. I don't know if you can hear it through the audio, so that might be a problem. So hopefully, you know, uh, that won't be an issue. Um, and yeah, we're, we're here. It's the highest point of McKinney, and hopefully that'll give us a, a great chance to, to capture the eclipse properly. I am so, so excited. All right, Brandon, walk us through your gear setup. Oh, it's uh, pretty simple. I have my DJI mic here for what I will eventually activate is the Pocket 3. Everyone has this, a YouTuber has it. I have my a7 IV because I have the larger megapixel sensor that I can crop into, and I have my solar filter on here. Must must do because this acts like a magnifying glass and uh, it'll fry your sensor otherwise. And I have my 70 or 20 to 70 because I don't have a, a longer lens. It's kind of a noob mistake, but it works out. And then my Peak Design tripod and that's pretty much it. And then uh, uh, walk us through your smartphone stuff. You can use a smartphone, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let, let's go see this bad boy. Let's see what you came up with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't want to burn up that sensor, so I have this Vivo X100 Pro with some solar glasses on top of it. You know I have more, don't you? <laughs> and that's held by gaff tape. Gaff tape. Then I have my uh, Xiaomi 14 Pro or, or 14 Ultra, and then the iPhone 15 Pro Max. You know, it's just a few phones. <laughs> just, just a few. <laughs> just a few. Now, there might be a problem. So there have been reports that there might be some cloud coverage. Uh, that might block the eclipse from happening, which, uh, I don't know, that's not really a, a good thing for us, right? But the, the sky is kind of clearing, but it would make for a really cool effect if like some clouds kind of went by the eclipse as it happened. That might be pretty cool, right? Yeah, better than the rapture. Better. <laughs> All right, so you probably want to know what my camera settings are. All right, with the A7C Mark II, I'm going to be shooting in aperture priority, meaning it's going to prioritize the aperture no matter what. I'll be shooting at a 5.6, with the only variables changing is the shutter speed and the ISO, which I've limited to, to ISO 5000. And hopefully that'll give me a good result with the Eclipse. Um, those tips were actually uh, given to me by my good friend, Drew Dracy, so shout out to Drew. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited. It's my first time, always wanted to do this. Big bucket list item of mine. And since I'm using the 2X teleconverter, uh, it's increased the focal length of my lens. I'll be shooting, of course, at 200, but with the 2X teleconverter, it'll convert it to 400. But I'll also be using um, crop mode with my a7c mark ii giving me a crop factor of 1.5 giving me a grand total of 600 millimeters in total so that should be okay all right now let's talk about timing when the eclipse happens so i've been doing a lot of research on how to you know capture this perfectly and and there are four points of contact when the eclipse happens the first point of contact is when the moon just touches the sun you keep your filter on and then the second point of contact is when the moon almost covers the sun which should create this diamond ring of effect, as they call it, at which point you should remove your filter so that you can capture the eclipse uh, in total darkness. And then the third point of contact is when the moon just starts to leave the sun, also creating a diamond effect. At that point, you put the filter back on. And then the final point of contact, the fourth one, that's when the moon just leaves the sun uh, and then that ends the eclipse. And so, but yeah, it looks like the eclipse is about to happen. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start shooting. Oh, this is so great. That wind is kind of gnarly though. I'm like already messing up, but we'll see. Whoa, the clouds are actually really cool. Not gonna lie, having the clouds cover the sun like just really creates for this dramatic effect. And so I'm kind of glad it's a little bit cloudy, you know? 
Looks pretty cool. Why did I look at the sun? I was wearing my regular glasses like a dummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check this out. Look what this guy is wearing. That is awesome. I witnessed it in Texas. Did you make it on your own? No, I didn't make it. I would have loved to, but yeah, I, I, I purchased it off the streets in the Dallas downtown. Oh, just, just from a guy named Joe? <laughs> Here, I'm, I'm selling some shirts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna change something. Uh, originally, I was gonna do like a time lapse from first contact to second contact, all the contacts, but the sun is moving so fast that I don't think I'm, I'm gonna be able to do it correctly. So I think I'm just gonna go for one single photo. That's my goal now. Uh, maybe next time I'll get one of those like star trackers or something like that. But yeah, I did not prepare for that. Oh well. Oh look, they're my kiddos. Oh, I'm so excited to get to see the eclipse. Hey, babe. Oh, we got some goodies. Thank you. Love you. You guys ready for the eclipse? Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness. Look, I can already see the sun. Okay. Yeah, right? the sun. I know. The, the camera nerd. Well, the moon going over the <laughs> Babe, you walk in front of the camera. Oh, the moon. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Just 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 be just be mindful. Just be mindful. Just I'm not I'm not I'm not freaked out. I'm not freaked out. I'm totally calm. Totally calm. Okay. Update. And the Got food. You doing good, Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> You got some good stuff? Yeah. So Check that out. A video for my phone with the clouds. Hey yo. There Isn't you go. Crazy? There you so go. I wanna watch the show Heroes. If any of you remember that, they had the eclipse in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Heroes. Oh, love that show. Peter Petrelli. Ah, oh, yeah. best superhero ever. Okay, we have about oh um, there's gonna be a break to so come through right here. Yeah, so there better be a break. Okay. Totality. <laughs> get the filter off, get it ready. That's a lot of clouds left. Hold on, we have this little it's sliver. We have a sliver, there's a gap over here. Oh, oh here comes the corona! Out. Holy moly! Oh my god! It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. I did it! I did it! I did it! Oh my gosh, it's amazing! This is wild! This is so cool! Oh, I actually captured it! I am so happy! I am so happy! It is dark, completely dark. Looks like nighttime, but we got the eclipse. We got the corona. Oh my goodness. So happy. Oh my gosh. I got, oh my gosh, and the cloud just covered it. This is nuts. Oh man, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm so, so happy. Okay, so clouds are completely covering the eclipse. I don't know if we'll see the rest of it, but in just the nick of time, finally captured the eclipse, saw the whole corona, Oh my gosh, finally did it and I'm so pleased. Here's what the final photos look like. Wow, bucket list, checked off, my goodness. All right, out of here. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, follow Brandon and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. <laughs>